Hey everyone, welcome back. It's been a minute. We uh, took some time off to uh, have dogs attack uh, random people in <laughs> our neighborhoods. And uh, we, uh, we took some time to get situated and uh, we watched a very special one this, this week. Uh, it's, one of, it's probably my favorite action movie of all time. Under Siege, starring the incomparable uh, Steve Seagal, one of the greatest and most horrible human beings that ever walked the face of the earth. Can't wait to hear what you guys have to say. Who wants to start it off? I don't have a lot to say, so I'll go first. Do it. And do it. Do it. Okay. The plot of this movie revolving around a surprise party on a ship where Steven Seagal is undercover as a chef is ridiculous. I <laughs> loved undercover. it. Oh, well, it seemed like it. I loved it so much that I fell asleep <laughs> after 40 minutes. And that's as far as I got. And I realized when I woke up and we were still on the boat fighting that it was really, this movie was basically to me, die hard on a boat, but Steven Seagal is way less charming and adorable than Bruce Willis. Although much better looking. I don't think so. Not die hard Bruce Willis. No. I, it didn't do anything for me, obviously. I couldn't even pay attention. I pulled an Eric and didn't see the end. So... <laughs> oh, he great. didn't so see when Bruce Willis really so showed up. He didn't show up. I know that. Okay. That's hilarious. So I'm thinking that, that pulled an Eric will become like, like you're now Zooming. Like pulling an Eric means you didn't make it till the end of the movie. Is that yeah. okay? <laughs> I see. All right. Okay, yeah. well, I'll have you know that I watched this whole movie only because you guys are so busy giving me shit every time that I just felt like I had no choice. But truthfully, it's because right when I was about to turn it off and I looked to see how many hours it had been, and it was an hour and two minutes, but it only had 35 left. I thought, okay, you know, just, just Emily so I could put Poncho in his place. I decided <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm going to watch this whole thing. So, okay. So just a couple of things. First of all, okay. I love Tommy Lee Jones. Like, like to me, he's, Nobody does crazy better than him. He's, he's always a good time. But I hate Gary Busey. He just makes <laughs> like skin crawl. I just, I don't he know. He goes so, crazy the best. Though. That's what I like about him. He makes you so yeah. uncomfortable. I would have to say I might have liked him the best out of anybody. Really? Yeah. I, I just, maybe because I know he went, you know, he became m mentally challenged as he got older and his hair got more crazy. And I felt like he looked like a homeless person near the end. No offense to homeless people, but I felt like that. Um, so, so yeah. Okay. I, a couple of things. Number one, he's a one, not now I'm on to Steven Seagal. He's a one man army, but they have him being the chef and, and that's not undercover Steve. No, because what had happened is he got court-martialed for pulling. He was a Navy SEAL, and he got court-martialed, right? And they were going to, like, you know, um, release him. He was going to be dishonorably discharged. But the admiral of the ship was like, what? This is Casey Ryback. This is, like, the guy. He's like, you know what? I don't want him to get court-martialed because then he won't get his pension and his ca all the stuff. So he's like, I'll make him a yeoman or a cook on my, on my ship. Because that's like the low rank. He went from being like Navy SEAL badass to a cook because he was going to lose all of his like, you know, military stuff if he did. So, you see what so I'm the so he entire movie is so he could be a cook to save his pension. <laughs> is that what it is? My, my most favorite uh, person in this was this Erica Eleniak. Miss 34, 24, 32. Um, because you know, how Erica she, Liniac. oh my god, okay. First of all, I haven't seen boobs in a while, but those were store bought, right? Because I thought I saw a price tag on her left one, but maybe I'm wrong. But those were great boobs, but not real, right? I, I would agree that they seem to stay up in one spot, yeah. That's what yeah, even Steve thinks it because he's so frozen yeah. with that boob face, yeah. yeah. Went okay, from no, stripper. 
that she went from stripper to a, a totally realistic accomplice. I mean, there was one part, I wrote it down, she, where she turns, I mean, this is Miss July to the rescue, by the way. Remember when she came with the gun and rescued him at the end? And it's like, oh, she went from Miss July to, she basically saved his life when she, you know, pointed the gun at uh, that guy that was trying to kill um, Steven Seagal or whatever. And then she's like, but if we blow up the whatever it was, won't the nukes blow? And I'm like, okay, what the fuck? You went from fake tits to nukes like in seven <laughs> minutes. So I just, I found her to be, it was just kind of fun. I, I liked, I just, she was so out of character. I mean, so out of place that, that it was just, you know, she was amusing. It gave me something to look at besides all of them. I thought some parts of it were really, really gory. Yeah, they were. Yeah. Like, okay, just like at that and end there. the guy's throat out. Oh, the guy with the table saw? He hits him in the yep. nuts and then the saw. Yeah. Steven Seagal is a good looking guy. I remember when he was married to Kelly LeBrock, but I got to tell you, this man cannot act his way out of a paper bag. Uh, like, I, I, what is it with these, these, you know, um, what should we call it? These, what should we call it? Characters like, you know, Arnold Schwarzenegger and Steven Seagal and like, I guess even Sylvester Stallone, like what do they pick people that were going to get a lobotomy, but then they got him into weightlifting. And so now we'll give you a movie and here's three lines, do your best to memorize them. And so look, I, I want points because I finished the damn movie and, uh, and, uh, and, we'll get and that's, yeah, that's about it. So yeah, I, I'd love to know what you love about this movie. Steve. I'll give you some quick hits because I could sit here all day and tell you why I love Steven Seagal films in general. Now, let me be clear. He is a monster and he's a horrible human being, but damn it if he doesn't make a fucking awesome action movie, okay? Growing up, huge fan. I even, when I do this with you guys, a book I put my stuff on is this, okay? Really? I love Steven Seagal, okay? Steven Seagology? Yes, it's all his movies. It's a great oh. read for anybody who loves uh, Steven Seagal action films. I highly recommend it. Because he's ironically, like, awesome and horrible. He's not the best actor, but he's breaking guys' arms. He's so serious about stuff. So I love this movie because it is actually, of all his films, the, the, the highest uh, grossing box office, the best directed. It was directed by the same gentleman who directed The Fugitive. So it's a very well done film compared to a lot of his other films, right? Um, I had this on VHS growing up and I couldn't wait to get home early before the rest of my family and pop it in for that Erica Liniac birthday um, cake scene, which uh, brought me a lot of joy as a young man, a lot of joy. I'll bet, um, how many times throughout the movie did it bring you joy? It just that scene brought me joy every day for a couple months. Let's just put it like that. Um, I don't know what it is about Under Siege that I love so much. Um, I guess it, it ha it's the gory action that you're talking about, and it's kind of a cool plot, and it's like espionage, and I don't know. I knew you guys weren't going to like it. I knew it. I was but, hoping maybe I would, but it, it really didn't get me. I don't know. I'm 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 a little bothered that you actually have that book in your possession, but I guess uh, I guess I'll gift. get past it. It was a yeah. gift. By okay, you didn't friend. purchase it. You didn't purchase it yourself. Yeah, my so. friend. Jeff All right, gave so it to we'll, give, Lazar, we'll give you back you. A, a few points for not yeah. having purchased it yourself. Look, but Guillermo del Toro. He's even quoted saying his book is awesome. That's Guillermo, man. That's an art tour. Oh, oh yeah, we we should watch that next because I'm not on a coma yet. <laughs> Listen, like I said, I could keep going, but I, you know, right. I'm, I'm just gonna take my lashings, I guess. So All right. I, they're not lashing. I just, it, I didn't like yeah. It. I don't know. It's hey, just near I and dear to my heart. It, so. All you right, did. we do pie, pie chart. Pie chart. Yeah, pie chart. Uh, what am I getting? A hundred ninety-nine percent. I mean, there's a love story, so I guess I have to take something. Gary Busey dresses in drag, right? Yeah, yeah. that was really yeah. uncomfortable. Yeah, okay. minus three, right. minus three for that one. I, I'll tell you what, I, I'll take, I'll take twenty because I, I watched the whole thing, so obviously there was something about it that I survived, and, uh, and I, you know, I, I'm a Tommy Lee Jones fan, so, uh, and he didn't disappoint, so, so He's I'll give him ten for that. And it was good to see boobs again. It's been, I don't know, twenty years, so it You're was welcome. just. 
Yeah, you're welcome. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, I, <laughs> I think I will take five because there's a love story, but I also think she's not really necessary and they have her in there just to be hot. So, yes. You're right. Yeah. You're right. All right. So you get, what, All 75? Right. That's hey. I, I thought I was going to get 100%. So, <laughs> win. All right, guys. Thank you. Woohoo. I did. Take care. I love how you did. Bye.